Hi everyone, welcome back to Hasini's journal. Today's topic is very different than my previous content. I am going to be showing you this project that me and my brother did, which is about energy and electricity. Enjoy! Let's start with electricity and its basics. Electricity is a form of energy that comes from charged particles. All materials that contain energy include negatively charged particles such as electrons. Electricity is of course part of nature, but it has no weight. Electric energy is also a form of kinetic energy, which is energy of motion, and it is measured in watts or kilowatts. Some more facts. Electricity is not mined from the ground like coal. Electricity is produced by generating heat and motion from various sources including coal, natural gas, nuclear power, sunlight, wind, and hydro power. So now that you know the basic facts of electricity, let's learn about the rules and laws of electricity. The rules are electricity always has to flow from a higher voltage to a lower voltage. Electricity always has to have a path to travel. Some laws are opposite charges attract each other. Charged objects attract neutral objects. And lastly, charges brawl against each other. Electricity charges. Electrons contain protons and neutrons. Protons are positive and neutrons are negative. In this image, you can see that there are red charges and there are blue charges. The red, of course, stand for negative. The blue stand for positive. The faster the charges move, the more electrical energy they contain. Let's talk about sources that gather energy. Solar panels, windmills, water, dynamo electricity, which is basically a generator that cranks and creates energy. Nuclear energy, of course, which is nuclear power plants. Let's talk about the first source, which is water. Emanating water is first seized. Then it's turned into electricity. How? Well, water is first released from the reservoir. For example, dams. Water falls and then emanates into a turbine. Lastly, the turbine spins in and causes the water to turn into an active electricity generator. Well, what is this called? This is called hydroelectricity. This process would take place at hydroelectric plants. Fun fact, water helps produce 52% of the United States electricity. Next up is nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is produced at nuclear power plants. Well, how is this possible? Let's learn about the steps. The first step is water has to be heated and then it turns into steam or smoke. Then it's directly sent into a turbine where it emanates just like water. Then a condenser condenses the nuclear power and it finally turns into electricity. Another fun fact, nuclear power plants supply 80% of the world's electricity. Wind energy. Wind energy is produced by windmills. How? Well, wind spins the propeller blades of a turbine surrounding the rotor. Then it spins and so does the generator, which finally turns into electricity. Fun fact, wind energy helps produce 6.5% of the energy that the United States uses. Solar energy is another source for producing electricity. How? Solar panels are installed outside and are exposed to sun. Solar power, which is also called photon, consists of electromagnetic radiation such as light. When solar panels absorb sunlight, an electron is raised in a high energy state, creating an electric field. 
Another fun fact. Rain, wind, or chilly weather do not impact the performance of solar panels. In fact, they would keep clean solar panels and remove the debris, if any. So now that we know the basic facts of electricity and the sources that produce electricity, we should know about how it is supplied. Electricity is supplied by setting up transformers to increase voltage so the power can go to a far distance. You can use this image as an example. Electricity is supplied to street lights, pathways, businesses, industries, etc. The electrical charge goes through high transmission lines that stretch across the country. Electricity travels through wires inside the walls to outlets and switches throughout the house. That's how we get lighting in our house and that's how we can watch TV and do many more activities that includes electricity. Electricity in a wire travels like a speed of light, 270,000 kilometers per second. An electrical circuit is a closed path for electrons to flow. You can use this as an example, like water flows through a pipe. When we're in a car or taking a walk, we can see some tall structures that connect with each other using wires. They're called transformers. You can use this image as an example to remember when or where you've seen these tall structures. They spread electricity, which then goes through wires to our homes and then we get electricity. A transformer trades voltage for current in the circuit without affecting the whole electrical power. A transformer passes through an electrical circuit, which then passes an alternating current, AC, from one circuit to another. Transformers do not pass through a direct current, DC. Transformers change the voltage of the electrical circuit using the power plant. They use electromagnetic induction to change the voltage and current. Transformers transfer high voltage to low voltage and vice versa. I really hope you learned many facts about electricity and some of the basics, the sources, and how it is supplied. Please like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos.